Hello, my darlings. Happy Tuesday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the World. Welcome to part one of Brindleton Isle Castle. We are going to be building a castle lot on the island area in Brindleton Bay where the kind of museum usually is. But this place is going to be a residential lot for some very special, peculiar sims that are going to be moving into here that I will introduce you to in just a second. Now, this was heavily inspired by my latest vlog where I went to Falmouth and I went and visited a castle, well, Pendennis Castle in Falmouth in Cornwall. And um, I knew I was going to be visiting here and I knew I wanted to build a castle lot on this particular um, island. So I wanted kind of Pendennis to act as some kind of inspiration for it. It's not going to look exactly like the castle. It is the Sims after all. The castle that I did visit for a start has very circular walls. We can't do circular walls in the Sims 4. But I wanted it to kind of like just feed me with inspiration, which it has. Um, and if you've yet to go and check that vlog out, then please do. Because I am absolutely loving doing these vlogs to kind of get inspiration for these builds and just to get inspiration in my life you know that is what it's for i try and keep it as real as possible and we just have a good time so if you've yet to watch them i know loads of you guys are really enjoying them out there um then go and check go and check out my latest one because i think you will really love it i think you will really love it especially some kind of scene involving a bath that everybody keeps going on about no idea what they're talking about anyway so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go over now and introduce you to the, the family that are moving into here and who they are, what they are and what they reflect, you know? So let's pop on over, shall we? So here we are, my darlings. We are on this island um, lot that comes with cats and dogs. It's literally got one lot to build on it which is around here i'll go into build mode so you can see the site kind of size and where the castle was going to be if you have yet to see it um and we're going to be building a castle i've pulled out a few objects that i've played around with and had a little test run of just something i want to um play around with and yeah we're going to do like a little bridge moment a little moat moment um, but these are the sims that are moving into this lot we're going to start off with the founder of this cult. <laughs> I've decided to move a cult of Sims onto this lot. And they are all part of the cult. The way of the fash. Now you have to say it like that every single time. Um, it's just something. It's just something that they do. It's just one of their things. Now the way of the fash. What are the way of the fash you may say? They're just a, a collection of lost souls really that needed to find an outlet in life where they felt like they belonged um and this is their leader this is their leader he is called caspian the flounder now they've all been named after fish we will go through that in just a second but this is caspian he is let, let's get your eyes open caspian please thank you this is caspian here caspian the flounder playing with words he is the founder look at that cat's face in the background <laughs> I don't think he appreciates Caspian very much. You look a little bit scared, darling. Oh, I don't know why. Um, But yes, Caspian the Flounder. He is the founder of the Way of the Fash. Now, he is actually a merman. He is a merman. Um, He's the only merman in this lot. Uh, in the, in this family, this cult that we are doing. Um, So... He's a little bit big-headed. He is a little bit... I based him off of a singer and actor who is supposedly quite renowned for being quite big-headed and very culty. Um, Jared Leto. <laughs> so that's... I've, I've just had so many strange things about Jared Leto and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to base Caspian off of you. So that's what, that's what we've done. That's what we've done. Caspian is a little bit of a big head. A little bit of a big head. He loves the fact that these people have came to see his way of life. The way of the fash. Now, it, <laughs> I just can't get over that cat in the background. It's making me laugh so much. So, they're very kind-hearted. They're very um, eco 
are friendly. They grow all of their own food. They do not eat any meat. They do not fish because obviously you would be catching a few of Caspian's friends and we can't have that. Um, but they decided to move on to this old lot. Now, Caspian, I'm saying, is the kind of... I reckon he's the direct descendant of this castle. That was, say, built in, like, the 1500s um, on this lot. Uh, there's a lot more lore going to come with that, but I'm not going to spoil it just for now because I don't want to kind of take it away from these characters just yet. But, um, yeah, he kind of, like, found, or they found him and decided to live his simple way of life. Away from all of the fuss and noise um, of the surrounding worlds. And come and nestle down onto this island lot. And live their lives here together. Helping each other out. Helping the community in a way as well. But, um... These guys are all good. They are. But Caspian, there's just something a little bit different about Caspian. And not different in a good way. Different is always good. But there's just something underlying with Caspian. And we're not going to go into that just yet. No, we are not. No, we are not. Right, moving on. So this is Petra. Petra. No, sorry, Patel. The Petra. <laughs> They're all named after fish. I am sorry about that. So Patel is originally from India. Now, she came over here with her parents when she was around, I reckon, in her early teens. Um, and she just didn't like the way of life that she was living. She was always kind of like expected to make money and be very successful. And she hated it. So she cut ties with her family and decided on um, a different lifestyle. And this lifestyle spoke to her. She read about it in a blog somewhere. And got in contact with Caspian. And this is her place where she loves to, Well, where she lives now. Um, Patel is also a lesbian. So she is definitely batting for that team. Blue is snorting in the background. How very dare. But she's not really out here to look for love, really. Very strong. Very good at handiness as well. She loves to fix things and work out how things work and whatnot. Um, but, yeah. I'm gonna, again, I'm going to give you a very brief description of all of these because I want us to kind of develop their characters together. I think it could be quite funny if we do it that way. But um, this is Patel. Patel the Petra. <laughs> we'll go over here. We'll go over here first. You're going to say hello. We'll introduce the dog. We have got a dog and cat in the family as well. She's like, he's having a chat. He's having a chat. Now, this is Paolo. Paolo the Prawn. <laughs> Paolo. Paolo the Prawn. Paolo is Portuguese. Can we open, Paolo, can we, can we, can you open your eyes? Can we, can we open your eyes? No, you're just going to, oh, just one, just the one. A very handsome, very handsome man, this one. Um, Paolo is bisexual for a start. And that kind of reflects on his Sims character. He is a very flirty Sim, very romantic, likes to get his end away in any way that he can. And he does. He's a flirt and he will. Um... But um, <laughs> he's kind of seen as a little bit of the aloof one of the group. He kind of like gets bored of things very easily, moves on to the next project, helps out here and there, but doesn't finish a project and whatnot. That's what I'm kind of seeing for him. He is obviously still in the, still in the way of the fish, which is a group um, that I will be developing a little bit further. Once all of the mods and stuff, are bro all of the mods and things are broken at the minute, MC Command Center... Um, UI cheats and whatnot, so I couldn't level up their skills and blah, 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 blah. I couldn't do all of that just yet because the mods are broken. So once it is, I will make sure to level up all of these guys' skills so they kind of, like, reflect on their personalities and whatnot. But yes, they all wear these lovely, like, tunics as well, these beautiful green tunics um, for every single outfit, apart from the swimming outfit. It's just a must as part of the, as part of the cult and as a member of the Way of the Fat. Now, this lovely, this lovely, um, Sophie the Sunfish. Sophie is the youngest of the group. I would say Sophie's probably around about 20. She had a little bit of a bad start in life. Again, lost all. Wanted to kind of like find somewhere where she felt like she belonged. And she's very kind, very kind-hearted, loves animals. Uh, she loves to grow and she loves to mix her own herbs and potions and stuff as well. So in my eyes, she's probably... Um, Wiccan, so she does love to dabble in her beautiful religion that she loves. It's very precious to her. 
So I reckon we're going to go down that kind of route with Sophie. But again, she's very young. Um, and I'm seeing her character develop a little bit more. And I just love how pretty she is as well with her red hair and brown heart eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they're all bloody gorgeous, including this is Leonard the Lobster. Leonard the Lobster, he's been crying because I got him vaccinated. And um, you shouldn't be crying about that, darling. <laughs> Look at his face. I have got this slice of life mod installed at the minute. So there are a lot more. You can't see because I'm over them. But um, he's been crying because he's been vaccinated. And that's part of the mod. So Leonard, a little bit of a lost soul. Um, Leonard is... Mm, I reckon he's in his late 60s. He is a genius. He's the one who tinkers with everything. He experiments. I'm going to give him his own kind of like little lab area in the castle somewhere where he loves to experiment with time and space and splicing splicing is that the right word i think it is plants and biology he loves to just delve into every kind of scientific field that you can imagine um and but he's a little bit lazy <laughs> he's a lad made him a lazy sim so he tends not to mix with the others that much you you'll probably see him more along the line spending more time down in the laboratory laboratory what laboratory aiden thank you he's not in the bloody toilet having a shit but sometimes that's where you will find him too because he does eat quite a lot as well um but yes that is our lovely leonard bless him i'm gonna say he's been single throughout his life i reckon he just wasn't interested in relationships um he's dabbled in them here and there but it just wasn't for him and again he felt a bit of a lost soul he felt like he was coming to his last kind of like term of his life retired from his scientist um career and he's now here living um on in this cult partaking in the way of the fash you know so i'm here i'm here for that i really am now this beautiful lady here this is Teresa the tuna <laughs> it's the fact they've all got fish names can we can you open there we go oh Teresa's on the phone you shouldn't be on the phone but really there we go lovely um, this is Teresa. Oh, she looks very happy there. Very, very happy. Teresa, I reckon she was just a well-traveled sim. She traveled around all of the places in the world. Um, I reckon she lived in her van. She was a van lifer. I reckon maybe she was even had her own YouTube channel as well. But then stumbled apart, read about this in the famous vlog. In the famous blog about this cult. And decided, do you know what? I want a bit of that. So she came here um, on a whim, came over here on a boat and asked Caspian if she could join. But she's here. I reckon she's one of the newest members, I would say. I reckon she's here on a kind of like temporary basis in her head just to kind of get a feel for things. But maybe things could develop with a certain anybody here. And maybe it will make her stay because she's in love. Like, I kind of love that story for her. But um, yes. How lovely. Now, we can almost cannot forget the, the dog and the canna. This is Shark. <laughs> this, this is Shark, the Doberman. I love Doberman. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and he's a, he's, he's a babe. He's a babe. He's kind of here to protect them, to be honest with you, even though he's the most kind-hearted soul. He's kind of here to protect them, act as their guard. This place is definitely going to be a private residence, so I don't want too many sims flopping here and sort of like coming on to the coming into the lot and whatnot. Um... But I just like that he's here to kind of protect them. When, in fairness, it should be Squid the cat who should be protecting them. Because Squid the cat is, um, is a bit territorial. He's a bit territorial. <sighs> Not in front of the children. There is children here. Where are you? I saw a child. There, she's coming down that way. But yeah, this is Squid. Squid the Bengal. Bengal cat. Um, Little bit ferocious. Little bit protective. But... There's lots of stray animals and stuff on this lot. And these guys are going to be helping out with that as well. I think we're going to have like a little tiny like maybe shelter somewhere with lots of food bowls for all of the strays. Um, I think that would be really, really cute to do. But this is the size of the lot that we're doing. Is the 30 by 30 lot. So it's not a huge lot for a castle. Um, I'm thinking about having a sort of like circular moment maybe with the castle in the background with a little kind of moat going around it. Um, not sure how far we're going to go up. We're going to start off on the gate area, I think, and just see what happens. See what happens. But again, guys, help me out with these guys' storylines. What do you see happening with these? I love hearing your guys' ideas with 
these um, peculiar people. Now, I have already got the story kind of made up for Caspian, um, so I don't really need any help with Caspian. But for the rest of them, feel free to let me know what you think we should do. But anyway, little introduction to the wonderful Sims that are going to be moving in. What we're going to do now is flop on over and we're going to make a start as always with the first part. It's never, we never get much done, but we're going to make a start on this castle today. Um, and yeah, let me get into build mode. Okay, my darlings, here we are. Into build mode. We're going to make a start right now. I am going to probably, hmm, yeah, I think I'm going to start just by getting a little bit of the moat in. So I'm going to flop you, oh, flop you down. Oh, let's go to there. Bring you down. It doesn't need to be too deep. I just want it to be filled with water, really. I wish the Sims could, like, swim in the ponds and stuff that we've, like, made for them. I think that would just... That would have been the icing on the cake if we could have had... Just some kind of swimming ability with the pond tool. I think that would have been so cool. Don't you? I think it would have been cool. Right, let me just pop you to there first. We're not going to do the full kind of, like, moat... Um, until we've kind of got a feel for this place. And we're probably only going to concentrate on the kind of like front gate and maybe a little bit of the spacing at the back today because I, I just need to get a feel for it. I need to get a feel for it before I can crack on. I think I'm going to raise that all the way up just so it's easier to get like a little bridge going across here. So I think the door should go maybe around, let me see, maybe around here. In fact, I'm going to go one back. I'm going to go to about there. Yes. Uh, I'm going to use this here as well for the, the main door. Like you. Let me get this bridge going in first. So if I can do you to like there. And then flop you all the way along to say there, obviously. Uh, let's get those stilted cheeky ones on here. We'll go for the darkest we can go at the minute. Oh, I don't like that. Uh. Um, have we got any better ones? I think maybe it, it will need to look kind of robust, though. It is a castle, you know? Or maybe this one, actually. I am. I think I'm going to go kind of dark bricked on... Um, dark bricked? Dark brown on some of the accents and stuff for this place. So, I think that might be okay. Okay. Stunning. Right. Carrying on. I'm going to do two turrets around the kind of, like, front... Oh, I don't like the way that that's glitching out there. I didn't expect that to happen, but it has. But we're just going to let it go. I'm going to do it all around here. Why is that flooring gone down there as well? Oh, it's because of this. Oh, do I need to like... Why are you... Is that like too low? Does it need to be like there? Maybe? I mean, that's fine as well. And that will stop the glitches from happening, to be honest. I am, however, going to go to there. And then bring this... Can I bring that wall with me? No, okay. And then put the wall... Oh, I don't know, actually, because I kind of like the door there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. <laughs> we'll stick with that. I'm going to do another turret on the other side as well. Another little cheeky turret. I walked off a turret in that vlog, and it was fucking... Honestly, I had the weirdest feeling in that castle as well. I mentioned it, mentioned it in the vlog. Um, I just had this really heavy weird feeling in my stomach when I walked into a certain area of this castle or of, of Pendennis Castle. Oh, it was so strange. I did not enjoy it whatsoever. Um, that feeling. I loved being in the castle. I just did not enjoy that feeling. <clears throat> it was very strange. Very strange indeed. Yeah, okay. Now, the wallpaper I'm thinking of using is this one here in that, like, dark grey. Let me see this. It's going to be a very... I'm going to try and make it look like a very kind of like British castle. Um, so no kind of like wooden paneling stuff on the outside. It's going to be a very robust stone. I think that's how we're going to do it. Can I use you? Oh, that doesn't look too bad. But maybe if I change the colour. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of into that. We'll get this back in a minute. We'll get this back. I definitely feel like it needs a little, a little bit of a... Um, stilted moment on this bit so i'm gonna do that i am um maybe we i just don't like how thick it goes on the sides is there anything like less thick i mean you could work but then you've only got like one eh, that could work that could work but then again it needs to be robust like this but then does the legs change color oh it does i wish we had some kind of like stone leg 
I mean, I've pulled these out for a different reason, but I mean, I could use these, couldn't I? I could size these up and put these down on the bottom. Let me see. That's too big. But if I plopped you to there and then went down to here, well, could you go under there? No. Okay. No, no worries. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like this like dark rim around this bit. So I'm going to stick with a grey. I went for a, for a grey tone instead. Yeah, cool. Okay, now what I did here is I plopped in a couple of these. I did like do a little player test of this just to see if it was going to work and look okay. And to me it did. So we're going to do it. We are going to do it. And then I mixed up and put these down on the bottom, um, which I'm going to do here as well. <clears throat> it almost makes me want to use like a wall on here too so i may even find them actually where are you because do you, you have a wall to go with it as well don't you darling <gasps> oh oh that could work didn't play a test that and that works so let's do that as well the only problem is is the the length of it on this side unless i use a longer one. Oh, that's too long oh that would have looked really cool i mean i could go back a bit further so we could use that. <sighs> Let's carry on as we are for the minute and see what happens. But again, as I said, we don't really get lots done in the first kind of part. It's just mapping. But all week, it's going to be Let's Build the World. So this week, it's going to be a bit of a Let's Build the World week. And then next week, is going to be a lovely speed build. So um, just because I had to like edit the vlog and everything this Monday, so I didn't have time to do any kind of speed build. So that was what my Monday was filled of, was editing the lovely vlog and I had a bloody blast. I did. Uh, or can we just like... <sighs> the shame. Because I know they're just going to glitch out. But I could size them down instead. Let's do that. Let's put you back to like here. To there. And then I'm going to size them, those back ones down. Because then what that will do is then stop that glitch from happening. Let's do another one down here as well. Um, can I go in that far? Oh, it does creep through a little bit, but not too much. Oh, yeah, I kind of prefer it that way. So if I get you right there, oh, you're going to be weird. Oh, well, there we are. That's going to have to do. They're not glitching out too much on the sides. It's just the tops that are a bit glitchy. But what I do with that is just get those back ones selected and then just scale them down. There, I scaled them down to a 0 0.997. And you, the glitch just disappears then. The glitch disappears. I am going to use some of these under here, I think. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. But the only problem with trying to do that is that I'm going to have to do it with a tool mod. So, and I think I'm going to size them up and then sink them down into the ground as well. So let me do one there. And then another one. Oh, excuse you. There. And then I'm going to sink them down. And then we'll put some water in it. So is that the right? Nope. You're a little bit too far. Okay. And this one can go there. Lovely. And then I'll sink them all down. We'll do it now. Why not? Uh, all of these. Let me see how far you go down. Just by doing it once. Not enough. So let's sink it down another two. I think I might be a bit too far. Yeah. Uh, undo that. Oh, God. Undo. Lovely. Back. Um, elevation minus one. Oh, one place. Thank you. And then a little bit more. <laughs> a minus 0 0.3. That's perfect. Okay, toggle group. Yeah, that's nice. That'll do. We've got these weird little bits here, but we can maybe hide them. So we've got a lovely little, a lovely little moment at the front here. But what that does need now some water in here just to see what it's going to look like uh go to about there oh there we go oh god no no down down boy yeah around about there yeah this could be cute okay into it let's get some stone on this front here i'm probably have to, gonna have to get rid of that water as we build on because i want to do a kind of little moat around the whole place to be honest um but what we need to do now is get some stone out for here. So what stone are we going to use out the front? Uh, oh, this could be a really good one. Yeah, but I do think we need to go grey because we've used grey on the front. Yes. Yeah, we'll go grey. We'll go grey with it. Next. 
stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, we need a main area. So, as I said, I wanted to get back here to kind of have a main moment at the back. Now, I do want a kind of like a big hexagonal moment. I don't know how we're going to make that work. What I do need to do is line that up, though, with the center, I think. Like there. Um, two there. One and two. Another three there. Stunning. There. Two. Three. And a two. Okay. And I think I'm going to have one of these areas as a very, like, a meeting kind of, like... And uh, kind of like hub, if you know what I mean. I definitely want to do an area where they can meditate together as well, because that's one of their club activities. Meditating, looking after animals, eco con conservation. Um, what else was there? Yoga. They do all of these very. It's almost like a retreat, really, but a cult. <laughs> but a cult instead. <laughs> uh, okay. Right, I just need to start thinking about what I want to do with the that back area. But for the time being, let's get a few more details on this area here. Um, we're going to do a simple exterior trim just around this bit here. Uh, and I think I want to use these. I tried these. We're holding on to that and it just looked kind of cool. Do I want to come down? No, I think I'm just going to stay up like that. Another one there. Let's size one down. And I'm going to flop one to there. Size one down here as well. Flop you to there. And I think I sized... Yeah, I think I put a th three of them here like this. Just to act as a nice kind of like support area. Coming onto that edge of the castle. I'm into it. And these windows here I just thought looked great with the turret. The colours and the green just kind of really fit in with it in my, in my eyes. So I'm going to use a few of these here. Um, but I'm going to use a mixture of different windows on this castle, I think. I just don't know what um, windows we're going to choose yet. I'm going to put a few there as well, just on the edges. Uh, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, what I need to do now, I just need to have a little think about where things are going to go. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do this together. I've just put on a little, I just wanted to see the shape of it from this way by putting a wing on this side and kind of carrying on a little corridor moment on this side. Um, and also doing a double height, um, kind of like, um, what would we be calling it again? Like the 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 hub, the hub of the castle. Um, and I did a double height one here. I don't know how we're going to make this work, but we're just going to see what happens. It might start to look a bit ugly, but I can always like perfect it afterwards. Uh, so we've got a nice wing going on here. I'm thinking, I don't like you to like there, maybe. Um, You can stay like that for the minute. Let me carry on around here. I think we're going to go a bit further here with this corridor. Let's wall that corridor in. And I think I'm going to do another kind of turret moment here. Let me see what we're doing. I could probably even just copy that over, to be honest. That'd make it a whole lot easier. Ignore the windows and whatnot on this for the minute. Um... So we can have a little walkway going up there. I'm definitely going to need to wall and um, put flooring on this so that trim can go around. Okay, we've got that going on for us. Yes, let me get you painted up so you can see, I can see what you're like blending in there. That's cool. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. These windows might even change on the front. I might just put these on the main castle itself. Um, and have smaller windows here. But I also want to use these windows too. I want this place to be a little bit open to the elements. So you can imagine it's fucking freezing, to be honest. Uh, and I do want to try and utilize a few of these windows as well. So we do need to try and get those out. The only problem with these is that they don't really go with this grey here. Unless, now hear me out, we change the colour of the castle. Oh, that kind of fits in a lot better, actually, for me. I mean, it's going to... Yeah, that colour fits in a lot better. It will make me want to change this. The wall here can stay the same. It's absolutely fine. But we'll change that one to that little bit more of a brownie grey. Yeah, I think we're going to do it that way. So ignore these windows in a minute. 
as I said, we don't really get a lot of things done, do we, darlings, in the first parts, but I can assure you this will all come together in the end. So, <clears throat> I think I'm going to turret on one side here. I think we're going to have a turret going up that side. Um, we'll get rid of those two. So, I know I'm like nine miles away from it. <laughs> I always have to like pull out and see what I'm actually building. Ignore the McMansion windows that's, ha that's happening on the front there. Yeah, I think we'll turret up one side, but this side here. Do I want to do another one or should we just do a wall up there? Let's see what happens. Now, I do want to do those kind of staggered castle walls. Um, but they need to be quite high. Let's see how high you would go. One, Yeah, I think that could be the highest point. That could be quite cute. Uh, we'll start again there. Oh, is that going to be weird of a small one there? We'll find out together, you know. We'll find out together. Um, I hate how weird the sizing goes when you put stuff on a diagonal in The Sims. It just, it's just strange. It really is. I'm not for it. <clears throat> okay. And then down this way with these. Yeah. I think this could work. See, we're kind of getting a basic sort of like shape. Oh, those windows are really putting me off. <laughs> I know. I know that they're not supposed to be there. But they're kind of putting me off, so I'm getting rid of them for the minute. Because I keep looking at them and I'm like, oh my god. You need to be on Reddit and do a McMansion Hell. <laughs> which we've all been having a bit of fun looking at on stream, by the way. Oh god. Um, which I am streaming tonight, by the way. Guys, I'm doing gameplay. I'm doing a legacy gameplay on stream tonight. And my main sim, my starter legacy sim is getting married this evening on twitch at 7 p.m you are all invited if you do want to come and join us talia is getting married um i'm going to be playing around with uh the sims wedding stories even though it's broken and um, for the first time for the first time so let's see right i shouldn't have put all of the wallpapers on because we know what happens don't we lovely okay let me see this go on here all on here, all in the middle. I am holding shift down, by the way. It just doesn't ever, yeah, go on to all of them when you're in weird angles and whatnot. Oh, no, that works. That works. Having a high turret on this side and not a high turret on this side. I'm kind of into that idea. We will have staircase and stuff up to this level. Um, but I'm going to get some stone on there for the meantime, just to sort of, like, work it out. Yeah, something needs to happen here. I don't know whether to do... Um, like a square bay window or something there. I don't know what, but we're, we're slowly getting there, you know? We're slowly getting there with a castle-y kind of vibe. And I'm into it. I really am. I want like a courtyard moment here. So I don't know where to come over just a little bit further with this. So I think what I'm going to do is just try and connect this in. I'm going to have... I think I'm going to go here with this one. And then all the way onto that area. Excuse you. Excuse you? What do you mean? Oh, it's because you... Uh, Okay, so up you come, my love. And then click onto there. Lovely. Um, I think... I think this whole area needs to be kind of like in. This wouldn't make a very good room, but I'm going to maybe box it in that way. If I can go to like there. Yes, this is all going to be like a courtyard area. So I might even like connect it in from here and have like a room around this area, maybe even higher. I definitely want to go higher with this. I think we need to go up to about three stories, but this is just getting basics on it. So now I've done that, as I said, I could probably make that a little bit more bigger there. We need to remember we're putting a moat around it. Um, I don't want to lift the castle up either. I think the castles are a nice level here. Uh, yep. Yeah. So I'm definitely have to go up high there as well. Okay. Okay. We've got a kind of like basic small footprint down of what I want to do. I still want to build this area up here. So I might not even do a moat around this area. I don't know. Um, but I do want to carry the, the moat around here. So what I'm going to do is do that. And we're just going to put some more decorations on the front of this. And then tomorrow, what I'll do is make sure that I've done just a little bit more detailing with this. Um, and getting a better feel for it. And then I'll come back to you guys and you'll be able to see um, what we've done, you know. I'm going to keep this moat kind of small because I do want 
enough freedom to play around if I want to come out here a bit more, all of that kind of vibe, you know? So I'm going to try and make this moat kind of just skirt off to the edges, to be honest. Um, we'll, we'll go a bit wider there. We may as well. Um, but we have got all of that area out the front there to play with as well, which I probably will be. I probably will be. Um, but this moat is just added protection, you know? And then we'll do like a fortress kind of like side on this bit here. Um, so people can't get in over that side. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this particular lot. We haven't built a castle, I don't think. <clears throat> for a Let's Build the Worlds. Oh, actually, was with school um, was kind of castle-y. Uh, even though we never finished that save file. <laughs> because I got bored. I got bored but as I say to you guys I will always keep it real if there's just something I'm not enjoying then I'm not going to continue on with it and um Glimmerbrook save file was one of them <laughs> I just was not enjoying that at the end and I just I, it felt like a chore to have to do it and I just you know I, I just stopped it so you OGs that have been in the channel for a while um yeah Thank you. Thank you for allowing me sometimes to not carry on with things that I'm not enjoying. I appreciate you. I do. Yeah, obviously wrong water. We'll probably have to go with something a little bit more, maybe like this, or even this one. Would, that would probably be the best one, wouldn't it? Yeah, like that kind of vibe. Okay, right, we're continuing on. We're carrying on now. So, I'm going to concentrate on this front area now. Just like the bridge, getting some more details along here. Definitely want to get some greenery around here. Lots of places to grow things as well. Which is why I'm going to leave this area open. Um, I might even do like a little moment here. Like a little like a little farm area here. I would have loved some animals. Um, so, maybe I need to utilize that somewhere. I don't know how we're going to do this. Because it's quite a small lot. But we're going to try. We're going to bloody try. So... What I really want here is some windows at the front. I always struggle at finding these buggers. I really struggle at finding those tiny little... These here. <laughs> Found them straight away. Uh, do we want to do them in the black, though? Rather than the, the gold? I think so. I think we want to do them in the black. Yes, they feel a lot more like a turret window to me on a castle. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put these... On the turret areas. Shall I put another one like there? Let me see that. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll do one more there and one more there as well. Oh, I'm into it. I'm into it. I am going to go up higher with this one, I think. I'm going to go up higher with this one. Maybe just on a short height. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to go up around here as well to a third height, but... Again, we're only concentrating on the front at the minute. Now, I'm not doing any roof lines per se. I do want to stick with that kind of like castle wall vibe. So, yeah, it would be this kind of vibe. Was that the one we were using? Yeah, that was the taller one. This is the shorter one. So, yes. Okay. Stunning. Stunning. Stunning and stunning. Um... And you wouldn't be, I don't know if you like notice it in me today, but I am so tired today, my loves. So, so tired. I think from having that lovely weekend away and just not being 100% from COVID just yet, I'm still feeling a bit lethargic here and there. So you're going to have to excuse me if I'm not as lively and upbeat as usual. It's because I'm bloody tired, loves. And I'm looking after myself, don't worry. Vitamins and everything. Everyone always tries to mother me and it's very sweet. I do appreciate it, but I am an adult man. I know how to look after myself. <laughs> but keep that caring coming. Caring is always a good thing. It really is. Caring is always a good thing. But I assure you, I am an adult man. <laughs> and I can, I do look after myself. I do. Yeah, this is going to be cute. I can feel it in my bones. I can. I can feel it in my bones absolutely feel it in my bones but i think i've hit a wall i think i've hit a wall today <laughs> we've built a wall today <laughs> um yeah i think i've hit a wall and where i'm going with this just yet and i know it's going to come together i can feel it but i'm just a little bit worried about spacing and whatnot i may even come out a little bit further here so we've got more room in the middle for like a little like farm area animals running wild in the center that's what i want that's the vibe i want for this castle but um, 
we made a start. We made a start today. I introduced you to the lovely group moving in. Um, but it's, it's looking cute. I'm going to struggle big time to get a thumbnail from this, I know. Because <laughs> I've not even built anything um, worthy of a thumbnail. But it's just going to have to be that way. It is. Anyway, we are done for today. But there we go, my darlings. A little, sh a little introduction to Brindleton Isle Castle and the way of the fur that are going to be moving in and living there. Give me some ideas for these um, lovely characters, these eccentric characters. Uh, I'd be very eager to know. But as I said, I'll be back with this tomorrow. We'll continue on with it. We will definitely, I'm definitely going to do some off of camera um, kind of like placing of stuff and just knowing where I want to put things. So expect the castle to maybe look a little bit different tomorrow. But at least we made a bloody start today, you know. Um, little blue in the background there. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. As I said, I'm live on Twitch tonight playing some sim gameplay. Um, so if you want to join us at 7pm. But if not, I will see you all tomorrow back here. Goodbye.